Glen Horner for Norwich Boxing, here with Sam Sexton. Uh, long time out, back Friday 18th September. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. You know, it's been a long time out now. A year and a half actually since I last boxed. Um, so I've been training hard. You know, the back's been good. Touch wood. And we'll rum rumble again on the 18th. Um, obviously the heavyweight division sort of been dominated by two names at the minute. Um, in, in Britain, you've got Dylan White, Nanny Joshua. Um, you got the likes of David Price, who we unfortunately lost uh, a few weeks back. After a few fights, shaking off the ring rust, do you see yourself going in there at the top level of the division again and competing with them lads? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I rate Joshua and I rate Dylan White as well. You know, um, two two good fighters. I'm pretty sure they're going to fight maybe by the end of the year. Um, maybe a few fights back, and we can get in there with whoever wins. Um, You've obviously been away on, with, on camps with Klitsch, the Klitschko's. Um, unfortunately, you haven't really boxed much coming out of them camps, so no one's really seen how that has benefited you. Yeah, that's what sort true. of experience was that, sort of going away with the world's best? I mean, being over there was just brilliant. You know, it just brought me on so much. When I came back from the Klitschko camps, I felt that I was on the top of my game. You know, I went, I went, I went getting much better at the time. Um, when I came back, I was fit, I was strong. I, I basically, I mean, I got up, I trained, I went to sleep. That was all I'd done every day, the whole time I was there for four to five weeks. Uh, we sparred as well, obviously. Um, we had a couple of things in the pipeline from when I got back, um, unfortunately, because of the injuries and stuff, they didn't come off. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just been a run of bad luck. You know, if, maybe if we would have come straight in off the back of the Klitschko camps, then um, I would have shot up there a lot quicker. But, um you won prize fighter, and that's something that is still going now. Uh, if there was a heavyweight prize fighter come around, is that something that would interest you? Oh, it's definitely something that I'll always think about. You know, um, we were we were penciled in to fight for the WBC World Cup tournament, which is like a a big prize fighter, you know, a world prize fighter, and um, that didn't come off. So I found out about the um, the international prize fighter, you know, England vs the USA. Um, so I jumped on the chance of that, the one that James Tony was in. Yeah. Um, so we got accepted for that. Uh, straight after that, um, I tore, tore my calf muscles, so we had to pull out that one as well. And like I said, it's just been a run of bad luck, you know, so it's very, very disappointing just before Christmas as well. You know, I was ready to have a good Christmas straight after that, but, you know. That's all behind you now, um, yeah. looking forward. Uh, we've mentioned a few of the lads at the top of the division. Chisora has now made a comeback. Yeah. Um, again, another fight that could be there for you, You've been there before. Why can it happen again? That's it. I mean, I've always said from day one, I will fight whoever's at the top of their game, whoever's going to give me what I want. And the people who are standing in my way at the, at the top of the moment is obviously Joshua, you know, because he's number one man at the moment. He's he's winning it. He's, he's winning some good fights. Uh, he's on his way up. He's getting tipped to be world champion and stuff like that. Um, and, he, and he's dominating the division at the moment. So if I didn't think that I could beat somebody like that, then I would just check him. You know, I'd, yeah. I'd hang the gloves up because there's no point in going on. Um, another name that obviously you've got Tyson Fury uh, fighting for a world title, but also in the same family, Huey Fury. Uh, fought very similar opponents to yourself. Yeah. Is that, again, another fight that could happen? Is that something that would yeah. interest you? I mean, like I said, I will fight anyone who's, who's there who's going to elevate me higher. If fighting Huey Fury elevates me higher, I'll fight Huey Fury. You know, if, if, if the lights of people like Tyson fights come up, the. Uh, Joshua fights, the Dylan White fights, anybody who's going to get me there, I will fight. Brilliant. Well, um, best of luck. Friday the 18th of September, the halls. Yep. And uh, where can people get tickets? Um, you can just contact myself via Facebook, uh, Twitter, you know, the Instagram and stuff like that, the general uh, social media. Um, or you can pop into my diner on Hall Road in Norwich, KO Sports Diner, and the tickets will be behind the counter there as well. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Okay, thanks for the night. Cheers.